Hey guys, welcome to the third and final class. This is spoon ring inspection and history. So at the end of creating any spoon ring that I make, I like to kind of go through this very simple but effective process of inspecting the ring to make sure that it has perfect circle shape, that it is the size that it needs to be, and that it's clean and polished. Basically, any type of polishing cloth will work um, you could even use an old ratty t-shirt if you had to. Making sure that every ring has that final touch and kind of receives that care at the very end to kind of make those details pop is important to me. At times I like to leave a little bit of the natural patina that's built up over the years um, there so that it can kind of highlight details that are within the spoon pattern. But yeah, that's basic, that's basic spoon ring cleaning and, and polishing. So the basic history behind spoon rings, and I had searched all over the internet. I don't have any physical documentation or police records with a date, but the lore behind them goes that back in the 17 and 1800s, there were servants working for wealthier families that kind of resorted to stealing some flatware or pieces of flatware from the families they worked from to craft them into wedding bands. They just weren't able to afford um, those on their own. And so you were kind of able to identify where and who these people worked for based on the crest or the, the pattern in their spoon, their wedding band. It, it also says that there were police records and, and some of these people were kind of arrested and convicted for for theft for, for doing this. And so that's kind of where the lore goes and, and how it dates back that far. But I, I personally haven't been able to find anything like that. Um, to sum everything up though, I, I wanna thank you guys so much for taking this class. From learning what you need to prepare yourself to making a spoon ring, all the steps that go into actually forming an actual spoon ring and then kind of the final process of cleaning it and kind of where they come from. I'm very grateful that you spent the time to, to learn this and if nothing else I hope that I've inspired you to create something. Um, I hope that you can take this knowledge. Go find a silver spoon. Go, go on a date with somebody. Make it really fun. Make it um, sentimental and, and create a memory where you can create something together um, with someone that you care about or just by yourself, something that you can gift to somebody else. Um, thank you so much. I'm excited to see your guys' projects. I'm excited to see you guys take this knowledge and run with it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll talk to you guys soon.